What is up, YouTube? This is Zale the Gamer. I'm starting a brand new series of uh, just tutorials and stuff. I'm going to still continue my, my Unleash uh, Let's Plays. I'm not just going to end it like I did last time with my Feed the Beast Ultimate. I'm actually in the process of making another one. My th or of uh, pr of uh, putting my second episode up on, on YouTube. And I'm going to be just doing a little tutorial on the BC... Er, uh, not BC Producers. Uh, power Converters. Which is a pretty cool mod. I think it's Power Converters, is it? Please say it is. I don't feel like an idiot. And yep, it's Power Converters. Uh, do not crash on me. Okay, though. No. So, when you open up this mod pack, you'll be like, holy crap, there's all these different machines in it, and don't crash on me. Okay. Yeah. So, why does this always happen? These freaking, these are not part of this mod. They just show up there. Like, I'm not going to have a random streamer. That doesn't help me. Okay, so, actually, I got to break these before I can, sh I got to redo this. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so. So let's say you have a really good MJ source or something like a uh, build crap power, which that's uh, build crap power by the way, and you want you want to power your mass raiders and stuff, and don't want to have to make like a generator or like a solar panel or something for your EU power. Well, that's pretty simple. All you gotta all you gotta make is for switching up to for uh, having the input of b build crap power, you're gonna want to make have a BC consumer. Remember, consumer is the input and producer is the output. So you're gonna need a BC consumer, which is made like this, which is just any like an engine made like that with red and gold, and then to make the producer, it's the same. It's just a consumer in the crafting table. And if you want to switch it back to a uh, to a con to a consumer, you just put the producer back in, and then you get the consumer back. So it's pretty simple. So okay, I'm gonna break all this stuff. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously the consumer, the BC consumer. God, why do I keep doing that? I just hate having little holes in the ground in my screen of world. Okay, so the BC consumer should be right here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is put it right there and see how it connects like that. And how that area turns, turns green, that means it's inputting. But you can't right-click it. And the reason for that is because you don't have an energy bridge in set in, inside the middle of it, which is the actual part where you can right-click. So the next thing you're going to need to make is an energy bridge, which should be somewhere in my hand. Oh, yeah, there it is. So... Energy bridge is just um, created like a diamond, redstone, uh, gold, and glass. Which is pretty simple. And then see the energy bridge you put in the middle, and now you can right click it and see how the power is actually going in. And right now I gotta right click these engines again because I'm getting barely anything. Oh, by the way, these are the cl clockwork engines, the new engines in 1.5.2 from Buildcraft, I think. And yeah, they're pretty cool. They're like a really good starting source of power because all you gotta do is right click them and hold it kind of wind them up and then they start like and then they go off for a little bit and then they slow down and slow down and slow down well yeah but they're pretty cool yeah so the next thing you want to do for your actual to take the power out and to make it into IC2 is you're gonna need either an LV consumer or not for consumer producer LV consumer MV producer or bleh, LV producer MV producer HP producer EV producer in EV producers extreme voltage so you're gonna have to need a really good power source for um, MJ for this to even work so I would recommend starting off with an LV producer because that's what I'm gonna need for my my macerator which I'm gonna show you in a couple seconds so you put that there and then now now when you put uh, any type of cabling it's gonna sh this area is gonna turn green showing you it's outputting something and then let's say you're connected to this and watch that powers go up like that just watch it it's awesome so now you can just use your use your engines for for using let's say you like to say IC2 power. That's pretty awesome. So you don't really have to worry about making IC2 power out anymore. All you gotta do is worry about one power source, and you can switch um, switch it to like any other power source you want, which is pretty cool. So let's say you want to switch it from e from EU to BC, which is pretty simple. It's just the other way around. It's just the uh, the consumers. Let's say you have an, a low voltage source of power. You're gonna want the LV consumer. Uh, yeah, right there, which is pretty made. And I haven't shown you the recipes for them. So the consumer would be the LV transformer with gold around it. And then the producer is the same thing. The con producer inside... What? Oh, no. The consumer... No, the producer is the consumer inside here to make the producer. And if you want to switch it back, you put the producer to make the consumer. Which is pretty simple. And then it's the same thing. And then the next one, the MV... Produ uh, eh, is uh, MV transformer. And then HV is... Uh, HV transformer. And then EU... E or EV is the MFSU which is a little expensive but it's worth it if you have a lot of power and then 
So let's say, you, yeah, so I'm gonna just connect this thing to an HV, I don't know. What, oh my god, that wasn't good. <laughs> Oops. Well, luckily, the it doesn't really matter because I'm on creative. But, but, um, actually, I'm gonna have to block this off now. Freaking. Okay. So I got an HV producer, or consumer. <sighs> I keep mixing those up. Okay, see, uh, now it's gonna turn green and it's, it's putting power in there. But right now, the power doesn't have anywhere to stay. So there's, because there's no energy bridge. So you're always gonna want an energy, energy bridge in the middle. So there we go. I got an energy bridge now. And then, uh,. Then now let's say I want to turn to BC. So BC producer. Do I have a BC producer anywhere? There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it on the floor. BC producer. Now I could just connect my redstone conduits or any type of like or like any type of redstone power like cable, and I can power it. So I'm gonna put an actual. This doesn't have power. Okay. So now this should be getting power pretty quickly. Look at that. Look at that. Look how fast it goes. And then, yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of the simple way to to mix uh to mix, switch power sources from one another which is pretty cool. I like this one. Also there's some other stuff that you should know. You can mix steam which is pretty cool. You can use steam for power so which is and there's a thing called the steam consumer which is somewhere else. Steam consumer. There's no steam producer I'm pretty sure cuz uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Is there steam pro Oh there is. Oh that's actually really cool. Oh wait, I can do that then. Holy crap. Wait a minute, so I can... Okay, that's that's awesome. Uh, commercial. Okay, I don't even need this then. Well, this is going to put steam in there. Now I'm going to need an energy bridge in the middle. Uh, where's my energy bridge? My energy bridge. My energy bridge. Energy bridge. Energy bridge. Okay, there. There we go. And there, see how it's, it's going to get very little power, but it's still got power. And, yeah. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even... Okay, well, whatever. So this is going to get power pretty slowly, and then I'm going to put, like... Uh, let's see. Actually, I want to see if this works. This is kind of pointless, but still. Steam producer. Okay. Uh, and I need... Do we have to put a lever down there? I'm going to try this. I don't even know you could... That's actually really cool. I'm actually probably going to try... Uh, why? There we go. Uh, for some reason, this is not working. Okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's not a big of a deal. I'm just gonna put a BC consumer or BC producer. Let's see where it is. LV. Or I, uh, where's my BC producer? Producer. Producer. There. There we go. Put this thing right here, and then power this. Even though this is not needing to power anything, and then I'm gonna break this here, and I'm gonna put my uh, not my Oculus accumulator. Where is my powered furnaces? And this should be getting a fair amount of power pretty quickly. Look at that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty simple. It's not that that's not that difficult. Now there is some other stuff you can do. Like you can use factorization power, and you can use uh, there's another per, there's another mod for UE, which is another uh, the electric mod or electricians or some some electric mod that I have never played around with because it's not in any of the mod packs that feed the beast or tech it. So I haven't played around. With, I'm pretty sure it's not in tech it. It might be in tech it now, but when I played it, it wasn't. When I, I was I played it before the when the when it was a classic version of tech it where all those like those power flowers and all that stuff was going on. So yeah, I was playing with those. So there was no like, there was no uh, no power source. There was no like uh, industrial or no, there was no electric electric mod or whatever for that. Like there's another mod pack for this that you can um, convert power to, which is pretty cool. But we don't have it in this mod pack, so I'm not gonna teach you guys about that because I don't have that mod pack installed and I don't feel like installing it because I'm lazy. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Hopefully you liked this video and please rate, comment, subscribe. Do the challenge on this episode if you like because it will be really awesome for my channel and that would really help me a lot. And if you're wondering what the challenge is, just go to, go to episode 1 of my Feed the Beast Unleashed uh, series. I have it in the description in there and I'm not going to put it in the description because I just don't want it to, I just don't really want to do that because I have, right now I'm in the process of putting my first episode, or my second episode of my Unleashed uh, series up on YouTube, so I don't feel like really, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing it. So anyways, hopefully you guys like this episode, and see ya.